Next is a pair of Turtle Beach Elites, where the speaker, one of the speakers blew out in the microphone. Uh, so these, well, these have some stupid plates on the sides. These things just come off with magnets. Uh, and there are just a couple screws to take out to get access to the speakers. I'm going to see we go. Yeah. Going to replace both of them. And I picked up these. So we'll see how that works. Okay, let's uh, start taking these things apart. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it just snaps in there. There we go. All right. And there's a screw in the middle of that. Yeah, you have like no room in here at all. So I got this rubber edge. Yeah, these are not meant to be taken apart. There's glue in this edge, or all around this edge, so that's a good way of. Just go around and break the seal a little bit. Flexing this does a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, so I brought it over to the computer, tested it. They both sound good, so they're connected just fine. And now, um, okay, so looking from the back side, these are where the clips were, one on the top, two on the bottom sides. So we wanna set this in there like that. So then I'm going to just hot glue them on and snap them back into place. Just run the edge, fill in the holes. Okay, then snapped there. Hmm, the clips are behind. Those things, that's interesting. Okay. You don't really need screws in here, I guess. Those. And there it is, back to normal. All right, put them back together, tested them, uh, ran a sign sweep the sound perfectly fine. Uh, tested them against another set uh, that isn't damaged, has the original uh, speakers in it, uh, sounds similar. There's definitely not as much power in these. It's not as uh, loud uh, when you have it turned up all the way. So there's definitely not the same exact uh, speakers. And you can kind of see that on the back side. There's Something's a little different about them. So maybe there's other ones um, that are exact matches, but uh, these ones seem to work just fine. All right, so this adapter for the Turtle Beach uh, has also went bad. 
Uh, so I purchased, uh, actually there wasn't any replacements online that were available from their website. Uh, someone else had said they ordered this uh, from a different type. Um, so I bought that for the heck of it to see if it would work. And the connector that goes up to the headset is, as you can see, obviously the same number of pins, but different lengths. Oh, where's my focus? But different lengths. So, since neither of them are going to work, I'm going to rip them apart and try to splice them together. They're snapped together and I can take them apart and desolder everything, which would be more handy than having to... Okay, that's not bad. Alright, so I should be able to... I know what each one of those is and solder it back on. Okay, so that's good. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like something similar. I think there's this little tabs and okay there we go now up close back side so this is the wiring breakout for what I had to transfer over uh, as you can see the different heights of them that's why and Left and right positive speaker, those are easy. The ground, I just doubled up the left and right negative. Uh, the mics, positive and negative, I swapped around so that it fit what was on the circuit card for this one. On. the right direction nope so soldering or resoldering pretty easy so the one thing to note as I focus here is that uh, each of these has their own rubber molded and so now this is different so I'm going to have to somehow make sure that that stays in place that's in place so this obviously sits down into there and that's going to be fairly easy uh, but on this side what am i doing okay so i test hooked these up to uh set headphones and the microphone and speakers worked perfectly so this is a legitimate fix so to take a uh, piece of plastic out of here, it looked like that, so that it fit in better. Same on the underside down here. So it looks like it's gonna fit now. Um, still relatively easy for uh, repair, but I'm going to have to super glue this together now, just to make sure it stays. Taking some super glue, letting it fill this channel. Hopefully this type of super glue works with this type of plastic and there aren't any issues. All right, so that's in place. That's held in pretty good. Backside is closed. Wiggle it around a little bit. Uh, this button still works. That still works. All right. So I have a broken uh, Turtle Beach Atlas mic. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, what I did was I just bent this a little bit, got a screwdriver in here, forced it down, and pulled up 
to pop it apart. Um, here's the pieces. This came right out. This has two pegs that was really holding it in and the little edge area. Uh, the microphone itself was this in with a little adhesive. And I ordered some new ones. A rubber sleeve around it to hold it in place. Let's go with that. Okay, so this mic is six millimeters diameter, three millimeter height. Uh, the ones I could find online were three and a half millimeter height, and they should fit in there because there's plenty of plenty of depth in here. Um, when I was oming these out, uh, my good one that I had, uh, oming it uh, positive to negative, uh, for what positive and negative is, uh, was 629 one way, 429 the other. The bad one, this one, was 10.4k both ways. And the new, bring those in, the new ones that I ordered, are 1,000 ohms one way and 700 the other way. And I guess I'll just, uh, solder it and see if it sounds the same, basically. And All right, that was easy. All right, so that's kind of... So that's soldered in there, so now let me double check. Yeah, this is temporary right now anyway. So I'm gonna go test that out and see if it works. Okay, so after testing, it is definitely a little lower. Um, when I was just doing a sample recording between the two mics, uh, the original one was around negative 12 dB, and this is around negative 24. So it's definitely much quieter, so it's still usable, just have to readjust the internal settings. All right, so after testing this again, um, I didn't really like how it sounded, so I went back through the bag and I found that some of these actually had different uh, resistances. So I found one that was lower, uh, around uh, 640 ohms and 550 the other way more close to the original one. Uh, these are just resistances. These aren't the actual impedance of the microphone, but I was trying to get as close as I could to the original. Uh, this one now, I shouldn't have used super, uh, this one um, now is running more when recording uh, towards the uh, negative 18 dB. So it's much closer to the original. Uh, so I guess it's just, you get a bag of them. Um, you don't know if any are going to be way out of tolerance. All right, any uh, questions or comments, leave them in the comments below.